Hello everyone, this is Frank from uh, Android Next DE and uh, yeah, welcome to another hands-on video, this time in English because um, this might be something that uh, also a few guys from foreign countries might be interested in. Um, what do we have here? It's an, uh, oh no, let me tell you up, uh, up front, I'm, a, um, I, I'm still a bit sick so uh, I hope uh, you'll get everything that I um, tell you. So what do we have here? It's uh, Android ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0 uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S2. But it's uh, not uh, a stock version, it's uh, actually right now the um, state-of-the-art version of Cyanogen Mod 7. Let me show you the um, exact uh, phone kernel version, baseband and an Android version. Yeah, as you can see, it's Android 4.0.3. It's uh, the baseband from the first of the Samsung firmware leaks uh, made public by Sam Mobile just, uh, well, let me guess, it was, I think, two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it's the uh, stock kernel um, with added root access. Um, yeah, so um, many of you might uh, be uh, wondering how good is this working? So uh, actually it's, well, quite smooth as you can see. Um, there's all the usual ICS goodies that you might have already seen on, uh, on your own Galaxy Nexus or on the various ports that already f are floating around. The, uh, internet and uh, especially XDA developers and RootsWiki and all those uh, well-known locations. And um, well, from this perspective, it's already quite usable, although there are, uh, well, let's say a few uh, things that are not working right now. The first thing that is not working or is not working uh, to your full uh, expectance is uh, phone, the phone function of the, um, of the, of the smartphone. Um, the thing is, there, is um, there were fundamental changes in the way that ice cream sandwich works compared to Android 2.3 gingerbread. And uh, Samsung really messed up a bit, so um, it is not really possible for the Cyanogen mod developers in person, uh, it's uh, Codeworks from Team Hexung, to uh, just take everything over from, uh, from Android 2.3 Gingerbread and their Cyanogen mod 7 uh, sources, and so uh, they at the moment have to rely on this what uh, on the, on the stuff that uh, Samsung is delivering. And the, the uh, first two leaked firmwares already have phone functionality, but it's really limited. Um, it's, uh, well, you can say it's not really possible uh, to, f to uh, make a phone call or receive phone calls uh, on most of the carriers worldwide. Actually, I'm happy to use Vodafone in Germany and uh, I'm, uh, I'm capable of making phone calls but it's not really, still not really working at all because um, the moment when I'm starting a phone call uh, the, the screen gets blank and black and um, well I'm not able to, uh, to hang up, just to hang up and this is um, a bit annoying but please don't blame the Cyanogen mod developers for that, it's uh, just because um, Samsung is not really um, really that far with their own firmware and just wait for new firmware leaks from Samsung and this will be possible. Apart from phone functionality, what, uh, what is working really good actually is the browser. Um, yeah, you might have seen it, um, but um, I have to emphasize that it's a real, real difference between, uh, between the 
uh, Gingerbread browser on the SGS2 and uh, the Ice Cream Sandwich browser. It's really, really fast, and it's absolute fun to just browse the web, and it's, it's uh, well, yeah, you can see for yourself. Just zooming in, pinch to zoom. Okay, actually, it was not that bad on Gingerbread at all, but this is still some, well, let's say, new experience. This is our site, Android Next E. You might want to visit us uh, sometimes, even though the, you, uh, you do not understand German, but, uh, well, step. Just come by and pay, pay a visit to us, if you want to. One thing that still needs some work to be done is uh, the sensors, just um, because if you change from portrait to landscape mode, as I'm doing here right now, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, actually, I'm not, not entirely sure if this is uh, an ice cream sandwich thing or uh, just because of the sensors in the uh, Samsung Galaxy S. But uh, actually, yeah, you, you have to wait a bit. And uh, this is, well, let's say confusing, but uh, not not that much of a deal breaker. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is camera. Because, yeah, um, I cannot make a photo here right now. Yeah, you can see my hand, and it's possible to uh, just make a photo. You can also switch to front camera. <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, working in a way but not uh, entirely. So um, face unlock still does need some work and is not working. And also if you change to the uh, panorama capture mode in the uh, lower left, the camera app is, no, it's not crashing. Oh, I'm surprised. Um, the last time I tried it, it was crashing, but uh, if you want to capture some video, the uh, camera is stopping, unfortunately. But yeah, you have to wait for another firmware leak from Samsung. Maybe um, this is going to improve. Another thing that still is being worked on is, yeah, let's say uh, CyanogenMod mod itself, because um, all the features that uh, we were used to uh, when using CM7 um, have to be ported to the new version, it's, uh, well, quite much work to do um, because um, it's uh, really many things have changed in the framework in Android itself um, between gingerbread and uh, ice cream sandwich because you know there was honeycomb uh, but without sources um, between it. And uh, yeah, the uh, Cyanogen mod team actually uh, right now is uh, evaluating which features are being uh, are worth uh, to be uh, ported to CM9? Other um, other features are not useful anymore because you know the the, um, t the task um, the task manager is uh, much better in ice cream sandwich it itself and uh, well the uh, possibility to swipe um, notifications uh, is not needed anymore and uh, yeah so. Um, give the Cyanogen mod te team a little, bit, a little bit of time. Uh, there will be uh, some really, really nice features. And uh, also in this build, there are actually uh, a couple of things that you are um, used to. Um, for example, the DSP manager, if you want to change uh, the sound of, uh, of the phone speaker or uh, the um, headset, um, this is already possible. Also, there was this, um, oh, yeah, actually, the Trebuchet, Trebuchet launcher, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, is uh, also an already modified version of the original ice cream sandwich launcher. It has some uh, preferences here. Uh, you can, uh, for example, just um, make it possible to, yeah, to auto-rotate the screen um, when switching to landscape. This looks this way. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, that's the deal. 
Yeah, and um, well, actually, I'm absolutely sure that there will be very many really cool features in CM9 when it's done. I don't know when it's done. Please ask the devs when it's done. It's, uh, well, number one rule of uh, CyanogenMod, mod, no EDAs. And yeah, please do not get on their nerves. It's just, uh, well, wait and look forward to what, uh, what's happening when it's done. So, okay, what's next to expect? Um, as soon as there are new Samsung firmware leaks, um, there will be um, new versions of uh, Cyanogen Mod 9, also a public version, will be there as soon as it is possible to uh, get the phone correctly working. And um, then you, you all will have the possibility to check, check it out yourself. And uh, yeah, it's actually, as I said, it's, it's quite usable. There are some crashes, there are some bugs, and um, well, but it's absolutely fantastic to have ice cream sandwich on the SGS2. It's really neat, and uh, well, I even want to say you don't actually need a Galaxy Nexus if you have a uh, SGS2, just because it's still a great phone, although it's almost a year old, and uh, it's, it's absolutely possible to run ice cream sandwich on it. And so, yeah, there's not much uh, left to say. Thank you to uh, Daniel Codeworks. Um, he, he gave us the possibility to check it out, ice cream sandwich and cyanogen mod 9 on the SGS2. Um, my name is Frank from Android Next DE. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, click plus one, click thumbs up, click like on Facebook, and uh, share the videos with others. Thank you very much. Goodbye.